Hey guys, just wanted to start off by saying that I'm on Twitch now. I've been streaming a few times already and I even tried setting up a schedule. It might be subject to change, but I'm currently aiming to stream on Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Central European time. That's 11 a.m. Pacific time. And on Saturdays at 10 p.m. Central European time, which is 1 p.m. Pacific time. These might change up a little uh, and there might be some surprise streams as well that will be primarily art but also a little bit of gaming sometimes maybe. So come join the fellowship. we are having lots of fun and I constantly draw on the wrong there. <laughs> so it's time we had an updated art style talk anno 2021. And today will not just be me rambling about my art style opinions, today we will actually look into art style exercises that can help you develop your dream art style. But first, we have to talk about the concept of an art style. You can't do this without getting past this, okay? So let's first define what is an art style. And the answer varies depending on who you ask, honestly. Some will say that it's the way an artist draw the features of a character, like the eyes, the hair, the hands, the bodies, etc. Others might say that art style is more a concept, while some will say that a style is an artist's techniques. Here's what I think. I think an art style is all of those things mixed together. In my opinion, an art style is the technique, the tools, the inspirations, the features, the brush strokes, basically everything about the way an artist draw. And that sounds like so many things, right? So no wonder people are struggling finding their style because there are way too many parameters in this equation for one person to handle at the same time. So to simplify it a bit, Let's divide the concept of art styles into two main categories. The first one is skill and technique, and the second one is taste and inspiration. Let's first talk about skill and technique. If you're looking for your art style or trying to improve on it, chances are that you might feel frustrated about not going anywhere because you're limited by your current skill level and techniques. That is actually a good thing. That just means that you can see that you have room to improve as an artist. You're looking forward, kinda into the future, so to speak, and sees your art style for what you want it to be, and you get a bit bummed out because you're not there yet. Usually working on improving your core skills and techniques can help you get closer. You're probably looking at other artists' styles as a reference. Don't lie to me, you're doing that. I'm doing that. We're all doing that. And we artists like to be mean to ourselves by comparing our art with artists who are more skilled than ourselves. Why are we like this? <laughs> Therefore, working on your skill in drawing and painting in general will help you get closer to your style goal. Look into coloring, shading, anatomy, brush techniques, do studies or generally just try to raise your drawing skills. Skill and technique are subject to change. As you improve, your bar for your style goal will likely move upwards too, so be prepared to always kind of wanting to develop and improving your style because you will likely never achieve a style you'll decide to stick with forever. Which leads me to the next and other category, taste and inspiration. Let's say that you became the greatest artist who ever lived in this world. That's never going to happen to any of us, but just imagine it. Even then, you will probably still be looking to improve or change your style because your taste and inspirations are subject to change as well. On your journey as an artist, you'll come across a lot of artists with different styles and some of them will really stick with you and make an impact on your inspiration. They'll make you want to take some of those aspects of the style and add it to your own. So in that sense, your style will always be influenced by your current inspirations and taste and hence it will always be changing. You kind of get what I'm trying to say, right? While there are things you can do right now to start moving towards your dream art style, you might want to expect always having another art style in mind as you grow and get inspired by new styles that you see. I'm very content with my own style at the moment, or styles in plural, but I always seek to improve it and make alterations of it so it becomes even better. I like to kind of have a free art style. Like a freestyle art style, that sounds really weird. <laughs> freestyle art style that I feel comfortable with and that just kind of sits in my meteoric memory, like my hand's memory. Then I have a simplified and more cartoony style and let's just talk about that because 
Can you have more than one style? Take a look at these two drawings that I made. Can we agree that they look very different, but still share certain similarities? So the thing about the pink one is that the eyes and the mouth are very stylized, whereas in the glowy one, the face leans more towards semi-realism rather than cartoony, right? But try to notice the similarities. The eye backs, the eyebrows and the shading of the skin are all very similar. The reason you see the resemblance is because I'm applying the same skills and techniques to characters with different features. So while some might say that these are two different art styles, I'd rather say they're alterations of the same general art style. This is a core example of different inspirations, but same technique applied at the same skill level. Let's take a look at another example. This example is from Lao Van, an incredible artist who draws both an anime and realistic style. But if you know Lao Van's art, you are not in doubt. You know it's his artwork, even though he used different techniques. This is a good example of the same appearance, but different techniques applied. Are they then two different art styles? Well, no, because you know it's Lao Wan's art, so both are his style, they're still just alterations. We could discuss whether an artist can have two styles if they draw this type of art one day and then this type of art the other day. It's kind of like a grey zone and there would be a lot of different opinions. Generally though, the artist will always have some kind of aspect or feature that they transfer to all of their styles. And before we move on to the exercise, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, who is MSI. For the new year, I have made a complete makeover of my workspace. I've even used the big drilling machine on my own to set up a tool wall. <laughs> I'm kind of proud. <laughs> I finally realized that my setup was way too cramped, so I wanted to set up just one primary monitor with my display tablet. And you guys know me, I like big screens. <laughs> so MSI sent me this monitor from their creator series. It's the PS321QR monitor with a wide quad high definition, 1440p resolution. Today I'll be unboxing the monitor and then when I've used the monitor for just around a month's time, I'll share the thoughts on it with you guys. The monitor comes with an ergonomically designed stand with tilt, swirl and height adjustments. It has a built-in USB hub on the side, is factory color calibrated for you and supports rapid IPS technology. It can be connected through DisplayPort, HDMI or Type-C USB. I recommend setting up with either Type-C, USB or DisplayPort to get the best experience. The monitor also comes with a magnetic monitor hood that you can easily put on and off. A monitor hood blocks out the light from the screen so you can perceive the colors and the brightness much more accurately. A cool feature this monitor has is the support of PIP and PPP mode. It means that you can work with different sources on the same monitor at the same time, either by working picture in picture or picture by picture. You can even download the Creator OSD software that is developed to allow you easy access to your monitor's profile and screen assistance. So for now, the MSI Creator PS321 QR monitor has joined my workspace family. So in a month's time I'll give you a short review of the monitor in another video and a huge thanks to MSI for sponsoring this video. If you are interested in checking out the monitor, the link is in the description. So now let's move on with the art style exercise. Now that we have talked about the concept of art styles, let's move on with some practical work. <laughs> for the exercise, you must keep in mind that your skill level is where it is right now. It will grow with time even drawing by drawing, but there are some things you just can't turn around in one day. However, you might be able to learn some new techniques. You might not even know what your goal art style is, but we can get closer with it with this exercise as well. Now create a folder on your computer or your phone and call it something like dream art style or art style inspo or whatever you prefer. Then go and find your top 5 to 10 artists at the moment. Save just one of their drawings into your folder. That's one drawing per favorite artist. 
Pick the piece of their artwork that inspired you most style-wise. Not necessarily the prettiest picture, but the one that inspired you style-wise. Do that for all of your current 5 to 10 favorite artists until you have a folder with images equal to the number of favorite artists that you have. So if you have 10 favorite artists, you need 10 images in the folder. Next step is to add your own style. Pick a piece of your own art, preferably the one you are most happy with in terms of art style, and add it to your folder. Now you should have 6 to 11 images in your folder. It's not a rule to stick to this number, but less than 6 or more than 11 might become overwhelming, so let's just start small. Now go over each image and pick out your top 3 things about each image. Maybe it's the way someone draws eyes, shade their character, uses color, does line art, etc. Just any three things that you love about the piece. You are allowed to pick the same feature for multiple pieces, and then when you're done, do it for your own style as well. If you had any reoccurring favorite features, like mentioning the eyes multiple times from different pictures, you gotta take all of the cases with the reoccurring feature and go into detail until you have no more identical features anymore. In the case with the eyes, maybe in one you like the shape of the eyes and in the other you like the eyelashes and etc. What you have now is actually a formula and references for an art style. This art style is unique because you picked out your subjective favorite things from your favorite artists. The whole combination of all these features and artists is the only one existing in the world, especially since no one else has your style. What you do now is quite simple actually. You follow the formula. Start drawing several characters from the features you have picked out and use the references for that. And don't just draw one instance, draw multiple characters. If you draw 10 characters, you'll realize it will become more natural for you to draw in this way. And when it starts to feel natural and you can do it without the references and you still have some consistency in your style, that is when it has become an art style and it's yours. You can always develop your style further by doing the exercise one more time, but using your new style as a replacement for your old style and you can settle with just including your newer inspirations and not using the ones that you already had. Sometimes you might run into this challenge where two features you picked out are contradicting each other, like how a face looks for instance. Here are two possible workarounds. Number one, consider if the alteration is based on features such as body type, face, hands, hair, etc. Because you might be able to use the alterations for different characters. So some characters are drawn with a face like this and others are drawn with a face like that, if you know what I mean. And then it will just work as character differences. And number two is, create an alteration of your style like I did for my cartoony style. Look at these two images. Both of them were made by me quite recently. I draw faces and hair so differently when I draw Maka compared to a red-headed lady in the other painting. Not to mention the even more stylized cartoony thing out here. You might even say that there are different rules to the way that I'm drawing these characters. One is really simple, one is somewhat simple, and the last one is more complex. And you can't really mix them because of the level of stylization. So sometimes the solution might be to make an alteration of your style. Another example is using line art or not using line art. You can't do both at the same time, but you can have one style that works both with and without line art. So that's what I had to say about art styles for now at least. I hope you guys found my info and insight and exercise useful. Questions about art styles are probably the most recurring ones in my community, especially how did I find it and how long did it take? Well, you've practically been developing your art style since your first drawing, even if you didn't know about art styles back then. That's because skill and technique is also part of the equation. And you're kind of developing skill and technique from your very first drawing. And the likelihood that you have improved somewhat since your very first drawing is pretty much 100% success rate. <laughs> In terms of how, well, our progress will always be different from each other's. It's really difficult to say exactly because the process is so fluent. 
If you want to support my work and get more videos in the future, like this video so I can keep my game up with the YouTube algorithm, comment for super ultimate support and even share this video for super ultra mega cool ringling ding dong supporting of my work. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day guys to watch my video to the end. Watch minutes means so much to me. So if you made it all the way here, consider yourself not getting cold for Christmas. <laughs> Until next time guys, take care.